Hi, this is Kate from PageFly. In this video, I will guide you through understanding the PageFly editor so you can work with it effectively. First, let's explore the PageFly page canvas setting. To begin, access the PageFly page builder app from your Shopify admin dashboard. Then, either click create blank page or choose an existing page or section. When you create a new page without selecting a pre-made template, the canvas will appear blank, prompting you to drag and drop elements from the panel. Next, we'll delve into the header settings of the PageFly page. The header includes several key functions. When you're working on a new page or making changes, you'll see the discard and save buttons appear. Discard will remove all your unsaved changes and reset the page to its previous state. Save will store all the changes you've made. After you save, the publish button will replace the discard and save options. Click the publish button to make your saved changes visible on your store. The second function is switch device view mode. Easily toggle between views for various devices such as all devices, laptop, tablet, and mobile to see how your page appears on different screens. Configure canvas size, adjust the canvas size to suit your design preferences and ensure your layout looks good on all devices. Page editor settings, there are three options. Enable theme styling align the current PageFly page with your Shopify theme style. Turning on theme styling in the PageFly editor helps avoid conflicts with your theme. View page structure display the structure, including section, row, and column. Show canvas size. A bar below the breadcrumb shows the size for each device such as mobile, tablet, laptop, desktop. When you're editing, you'll find the undo and redo buttons helpful. Click the undo button to reverse your last action and click the redo button to bring it back. Preview button, click to see how your page will look before publishing. View live page view the final published version of your page. This button is gray and active if the page hasn't been published yet. Next, let's explore the breadcrumb setting. Breadcrumbs provide a visual guide to your elements positions within the page structure, helping you understand their locations. The typical structure of an element is section, row, column, and element. Moving on to one of the important functions of the PageFly editor. In the small screen view, depending on your screen ratio, the PageFly page editor will show all settings on the left side. On a larger screen, the settings appear in the left menu bar, and the settings for each element, including general and styling tabs, are displayed on the right side. The vertical toolbar is situated in the left sidebar of the PageFly editor. This toolbar provides access to all PageFly elements. From top to bottom, it includes the following useful tools page content, elements, third-party elements, page template, page settings, version history, custom code editor, and open live chat. Finally, let me introduce you to the inspector toolbar. When you select an element in the editor, the inspector toolbar immediately appears as a panel attached to that element. The panel's color and functions will vary depending on the container element. The toolbar includes the following functions. Move. You can click to select and reposition the element. Duplicate to create a copy of the element. Delete to remove the element. Copy styles click to copy the element's style. Paste styles to apply the copied style to the element. Collapse click to collapse the toolbar. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 247 to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.